So new in version 1.4 of Serial is the ability to edit the FITS headers in your FITS images, as well as RAW images that come out of the Canon camera, and I'm assuming other cameras as well. This is just a quick video, but I figured it was worth covering. So let's check it out. My name is Rich, and you're watching Deep Space Astro. So obviously before you modify a FITS header, you need to open up a FITS file. So I have my M45 image opened up here and we're gonna come up in the tools and then FITS header. Up on top, we have two tabs. One is the header editor, pretty self-explanatory. This is where you can make changes. And then the second tab is your saved header. So this is a just a read only, the current state of the FITS header in the image that you have loaded. Back over into the header editor, the columns are sortable. So if you're looking for something specific, you can see nothing's in alphabetical order under the keyword. If I click on keyword, then it alphabetizes it for me so I can easily find what I'm looking for. Any of the keywords that are shown in the salmon color are protected keywords. So you would not be able to make changes to anything that's in the salmon color. So for example, if I wanted to change any of these keywords, for example, humidity, because I knew it was not at 99% that night. And actually I need to look into this. I think my Pegasus power box sensor is going bad because 99% humidity is really high for this area. I don't think that was correct. So anyways, if I double click on humidity, I can change the keyword name. If I double click on the 99, I can change the value. So if I just put that to say 80 and then the same thing over on the comment, I can double click that and I can make changes there as well. One thing to keep in mind when you are making these changes specifically around the keywords, Cyril doesn't do any kind of checks to make sure that they're valid. So know what you're doing when you're making these changes. Otherwise you can have erroneous results when Cyril tries to read some of these keywords or any other program that you may take the image into that depends on keywords. Again, I changed my humidity from 99 to 80. So it's, it's changed, but we need to save it. So you wanna hit your close button, come up top here, and click your save. You can see in the console when I made that change, it showed me the change that it made, the keyword, the new value, as well as what the comment it is. Clicking save, like I said, saves that change. And then if we come back over into our fits header again and scroll down to humidity, you can see that the value was in fact saved. So in addition to making changes to the existing keywords that are in your FITS header, with the plus and minus buttons here, we can add and remove values as well. So if I click the plus button, we'll get the add new keyword box. If I wanted to say something like imager and then put my name in there and a little note and then click add, scroll back up to find imager and there's our new value right there. Same thing, I would hit close and then save and they would write it into the FITS header for me. On the opposite side of that, you can use your minus button to remove any of the keywords. Again, be careful with that. You don't wanna remove a keyword that you actually need, especially if it's something that Cyril is gonna need for any further processing. Down the bottom, we have a copy selection button and this works both in the header editor as well as the saved header tab. So if I select just one line and hit copy selection. And as you would expect, I can paste it like into notepad. So I can do a single line like that, or I can grab a group of them. So I could select from focal length, hold my shift key down, down to the longitude of the celestial pole setting, and then hit copy selection. And then the same thing, it's in my clipboard. So I'd be able to paste that over. Same thing works with the saved header. You can select an individual line and say copy selection, or you can select multiple and hit copy selection. Another way, if you just wanted a quick dump without coming into the tool, and we'll close this out real quick down in the command line, you can just type dump header, and it'll put everything in the console for you too. So just another way of doing it, whichever is easier. So let's go back into the FITS header one more time. And like I mentioned before, you can only make changes to the things in white. Anything that's in salmon is protected, so you will not be able to make changes. There is one other keyword that's missing in the editor because you can't edit it, but you can see it in the saved header tab, and that is our history. So if I scroll down and look for my history, that's this section right here. So for every processing step, starting with stacking that I took on this image, it's documented for me in in the header but this can't be changed like i said it's only available in the saved headers so you can see it was stacked in the settings that were used you can see the crop you can see i ran graxpert with background extraction and the settings that i had set for that my plate solve and then my photometric color calibration so I just wanted to point it out in case it's something you're looking for again you won't be able to change it in the header editor it's, it doesn't even show up over here 
but if you wanted to review it, it is in your saved header. And the last thing that I wanted to cover, this is a fits header editor, but it will do raw files. And if I open up one of my CR3 files from my Canon and then go back into tools and fits header, there are some keywords that are in the header of the raw file that came out of my Canon camera. So same thing applies. If it's in salmon, you can't change it, but everything else in white is. So, you know, this can come in handy if you need to come in there. Since it's missing so many of the keywords that we would see in a fits file because it came out of my Canon, you could come in here and you can create some of those yourself. So, you know, if I wanted to add a value for the telescope that I use, and I believe telescope without the E is how that is. I can say telescope and then RedCat. 51 and it'll add that into the header of the CR3 file for me. One more thing that I wanted to show is when you're viewing the fits header when you have a sequence open. So if I search my sequences here and just click on anything, and then again back over to tools to bring up the fits header, everything's the same that we just went over. It all works identical. The one thing that is different is when you're using your copy selection. You cannot multiple select. I'm holding my shift key right now. I can't multiple select items in here. You can copy individual ones just by highlighting them and hitting the copy selection button. But if you want multiple, it's not going to work here. You can still do it in the saved header section. Just using your mouse and left mouse click, hold it down and drag everything up. You can copy it that way. But again, in the header editor, when a sequence is open, only individual lines can be copied. You can't group select. So just one of the many improvements they've given us in Serial 1.4. I want to take this time once again to say thanks for all my members here on YouTube and to buy me a coffee. I appreciate your support. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Appreciate everybody's time. We'll see you on the next one in clear skies.